Hi, oh my god, I am so excited for this video. I am gonna be doing a shoe haul today, and I'm so excited. Lamoda sent me some shoes, they're incredible, and I thought that I would do because they didn't want to just have it be like a haul video, which I can understand because when I looked up La Moda shoe haul just to see like what other people have done, there are a lot of La Moda shoe hauls, so I decided to show you guys how I would style each of these shoes. So I'm gonna show you an outfit for all of them. Right now I'm literally just in sweats. It's been a rainy, cozy day here. And I think that most of my days are probably gonna be like this, which like I'm stoked for. I'm so excited for like the rainy season here in Portland. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the fits that I would style the shoes with and kind of verbalize how I put together my outfits. I've had a couple people request for me to share how I put them together. And I don't think that fashion necessarily has any rules. I kind of approach it the same way I approach makeup, which is just, you should do what makes you happy, what makes you comfortable. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the, the shoes. Oh my God, Lamoda, thank you so much for sending these to me. Oh, I don't even know if you guys can see all of this, but I have six pairs of shoes here. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys the first one. So the first pair that I got, I actually already owned a pair of these and I have them in white, but I now own them in blue as well. This is like a pastel baby blue. I'm gonna put the name of all the shoes up on the screen for you. And for reference, I am a UK size six. I'm an American size eight or US women size eight, but um, yeah. So I got those in blue and not only did I get them in blue, but I also got them in black and red. Oh my God. You guys, I like looked for something to wear with these shoes that was red because I thought that would be so cute. You're not really going to be able to see the red once they're on, but I just love this. Like, I don't know. They remind me of red bottoms, like this, this vampire red and I don't own anything that's red. I need to wear more red. I'll show you what I did find though like how I would style this. But I know I'm these in three different colors. I'm so excited because this is like my favorite style of Lamoda. Like I had never owned their boots before now, but I did own these in white and they were like my favorite pair of platforms ever. And now I have three of them and I'm so excited. These I think are the most versatile of all of the boots and shoes that I got. So these are just a nice, simple black platform. You could literally style these so many different ways. And I kind of had like a hard time narrowing down what I was gonna wear with these. Cause literally you could wear this with maybe all of these outfits. Everybody needs a good black platform shoe and these are it. They're so comfortable too, which you wouldn't really expect because it's kind of like a thicker material. So I kind of expected it to be more like blocky, but they're actually so comfortable. I'm really excited to show you guys these shoes because I have had my eye on these for the longest time. They were like super popular a couple of years ago. But now I have them. Look at that. Look at the flame. I can't believe I finally own these. Living my pastel goth dreams right now. Speaking of boots I've always wanted to own, I own a lot of black boots. I have two pairs of white boots. Technically now I have three because of the flame ones, but I don't really have any that are in any other colors other than black and white. So I'm so excited to get these. Look at this. Pink boots. Speaking of pastel goth dreams. Really, I just love how they feel. I just like, no. And then for the finale, I saved these for the end. You're not really gonna be able to appreciate this until you see it on me, but holy fucking shit. Look at this. So we have the actual shoe. Look at that platform. That's amazing. Nobody better try me in these because I'm kicking somebody's teeth in and I can like spike them too. Amazing. It's like a weapon and a shoe all in one. And then you've got like chain details, buckles. Okay, let me show you what they look like on. This is 
is my first outfit. I'm gonna stand back and film it this way. That way you can see the whole thing. So like I said, I don't really follow any like rules for fashion. But one thing I will say is that I am more drawn to skirts and dresses. So you're gonna see more of that. I did try and come up with some outfits with pants cause I know people like pants, I guess. But for my body, I feel like skirts and dresses look better. I'm more comfortable in them. I think I look pretty cute. I feel like these shoes, this style works really well for skirts and dresses too. The next shoe I did pick out a skirt to go with it. And I don't know why that is. I just feel like there's like so much volume down here that it's nice to have like a big clunky thing down here some bare leg and then like a small piece here. I just feel like it really balances the body really well. And that's always kind of what I'm going for with my clothes is kind of balancing out my proportions. Also, look at this coin purse. Look at this. It is literally the same color. I hope that like I'm angling this the right way so you can see it. It is like the exact same color. So when I saw those shoes, I was like, Ooh, I need those. But yeah, this is how I would style this shoe. I tend to do white and black or like gray scale for my outfits. And then I like to add in little pops of color. So I would do my makeup with like baby blue. I did gray today just so that it would kind of go with everything. I would wear like a baby blue wig if I had one, but I don't. So I think the white one looks good. I feel like these shoes are great for like going to the club with your friends if you have those. doesn't like being held. When you guys were kids, did you ever do like fashion shows for your parents? Cause I know I did. That's kind of how I feel right now. Okay. So yeah, this is outfit number two. This is like the only red piece of clothing that I own. I totally don't even really care that my black bra is peeking out cause it kind of just like adds to it. I wanted to do something red since the inside of these shoes are red. I kind of match. And then I have my, my spike bag to go with it and my fishnets. I feel like this outfit is definitely more top heavy, which is why I would definitely pair it with a platform. You could totally like do this with boots too. Also, I was gonna say, I do already have a pair of these that I've had for years. So I have the white ones. I've owned them for years, as you can see from the fading. And they are like the most comfortable of platform heels that I've ever had. The chunky heel makes it so that you're, you don't lose your balance. And overall, it's just like actually a really comfortable shoe. So you can totally like go out and party in these. If you have to make your boyfriend carry your shoes often, as I do, I don't think I've ever made him carry these. So if I had any more red accessories, I would totally do that. Or I would do like a red lip with this look. I feel like that would really add to it if I had a red purse, but I don't. I just don't have very much red stuff, you guys. I need to buy more red things. I think this is a sign. I also just wanted to show you without the top, without the sweater. So this would be like the summer version of this. So freaking cute. I'm actually probably gonna take a picture of this outfit so I don't forget it because I literally just came up with this today. number three. I had to think really hard if I was holding up three fingers. This is one of the outfits that I came up with that has pants. When I buy pants, I always buy high-waisted. I feel like it just looks better on me. But with high-waisted things, I usually like to wear crop tops. So I styled this with just a simple black crop top. There's so many ways I could style these boots, honestly. Like I could have used these for my last outfit just fine. I mean, these probably could have fit literally all of these outfits. So maybe like the first one. This also would work really well with like a little sweater. So it is fall as I'm filming this. So I'm kind of trying to think like outfits that I'd wear for fall. In the camera, there's like something right there. And then I look down and there's like nothing. That's so weird. Like I can't even really see it. That is so crazy how that picks that up. If I had like long dangly necklaces, that'd be super cute. I don't, but if I did, that'd be cute. This is like something I'd wear to like my old office job. Like I would totally wear this. I used to be a receptionist. This covers my cleavage, so great. Pants, great. That's really the two main things I tried to remember is don't wear too short of a skirt and cover your cleavage. Would they have let me have my tattoo poking out? Uh, I don't know. And then here it is with the, with the bag. Gotta have a little bit of sipook. Gotta have the Ouija bag. And now I really match perch. I think this is so fucking cute. Like, I really would just like wear this anywhere. And then like I said, the boots are actually so comfortable. I might wear this like tomorrow. I'm going to a plant store tomorrow, buying plants. So this is gonna be my plant shopping outfit. Can 
you tell from my little tappy taps how excited I am about these boots? I love this. This is so sick. I love the flames. It matches my shirt. How cool is that? I feel like this really does apply that principle I said earlier about adding pops of color to white or black. I've been wearing a lot more white recently. This is what I mean when I say I don't really follow like fashion rules because there's that stupid rule that's like you can't wear white after Labor Day. It's like October 4th right now, 5th, I don't know. Be that it is fall, I probably would wear like a hoodie or something with this and I I actually have one. It's the same thing, but it's on a hoodie. There's a stain on this. I spilled coffee on it this morning, so don't look at that. But how freaking cute. I'm so excited to wear these, you guys. I'm. These might be my favorite. I love them. The last outfit totally could have fit these shoes but i wanted to show you what it would look like with the pink wig i just kind of got this wig i haven't really worn it very much and i need to straighten it a little bit because the waves are just like so dramatic but i felt like it would call for some big dramatic earrings to go with it so i have these and again black and white with some pops of color so we've got pink here 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 i think this is hella cute i would wear this anywhere I'm almost getting like country vibes from the shoes. I'm like a cute goth country bimbo. I love it. I could totally pair this with like some fishnets too. I just was lazy and didn't want to put them on. It's also like the big like wave in my hair here. I feel like it's giving me like cute goth Dolly Parton vibes. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is the last fit that I have for you. So obviously we've got some details that match the shoes. This whole outfit is inspired by these amazing shoes. So we've got spikes, spikes, buckles, buckles. The only difference is this is like a vinyl material and this is not, this matches more like my bag, which also has spikes on it. And I will say, I was gonna comment on this earlier. With the boots, they are, very forgiving in the calf and the ankle department so i have like a really small frame on top and in my midsection but my legs are actually a lot thicker like relative to the rest of my body so my ankles are like kind of big compared to everything else and i'm on the very widest setting setting the biggest option down here and it's like a tight squeeze this is like as big as this can go and this barely fits me i'm five six i'm a size uk six i am usually like a medium to a large for bottoms i don't know if that gives you any type of idea of whether or not these shoes would fit for you the boots that i was wearing earlier are much more forgiving than these like these barely fit me and i'm like a pretty thin person so that's kind of my only issue with these is that kind of sucks for people who you know have bigger frames up here it's a little better like i'm on like the second one and then the third and then the fourth so this is fine but i was a little worried about this now that i'm standing up and like walking around though that's not the uncomfortable part the shoes themselves are not that comfortable i probably want to wear some sort of like insole support like i buy a little I get them off amazon these little like inserts i used to wear them when i was working like a retail job all the time and they just like make it easier to stand but even just walking around my house in these God, it's kind of starting to hurt <laughs> but like is it worth it to be fashionable absolutely it was also really hard to put these on i had to look up the model on the moda's website to see how she was wearing it so the chain let me see if i can show you this without flashing you so this chain down here goes underneath the shoe like that you have to like move it underneath so if you want to buy these definitely look up the model and how she's wearing it i'll put a picture up of how she's wearing it because that helped me configure it and then since it is fall i probably would pair this with like a vegan leather jacket if i had one but i don't so i would probably just pair it with like a flannel i don't really know if this goes together but it's cute i think and it's comfy and if you're around any like creepy men and they're gonna comment on your spike boobs and how they want to hug you can just hide it so 
Okay, you guys, that is all of the looks. I did forget to mention this earlier, but all of the shoes at LaModa are vegan. As a vegan, that's important to me. It's really nice to be able to just go to a shop and be able to buy everything. And I do have a little discount code for you. So you can use Eerie 30 for a discount on, I think, everything. If you wanna get some shoes for your Halloween costume. And like I said, for platforms, they're really comfortable. Other than the last pair, which I would definitely wanna wear like some sort of insole for it, they're so comfortable. So you can have a really cute Halloween Halloween outfit and have some cute chunky goth alternative vegan shoes to go with it. And again, thank you so much Lamoda for sending me all of these amazing shoes. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to style many, many more outfits with them. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.